everyone, today I'm reacting to Earth, Wind & Fire's I Am album. If you'd like to skip right to my reaction, I will have a timestamp on the screen right here to where you guys can go to. And now on to a couple cool disclaimers. Number one, this is just my personal opinion and interpretation of the songs. I'd love to hear it down below, just keep it respectful, please. Sorry if any background noise or dust particles that may occur throughout this video. I'm going to be stopping and giving thoughts on the songs as I go along. I'm also going to have to cut out a lot of each song due to copyright reasons. If you see me looking down on my phone, that's just because I will have the lyrics for each song pulled up. Lastly, if I have any notes, ever get that, check them below. I might have a pinned comment. And now onto track one, In the Stone. Okay, so my thoughts on the song. Great track to listen to. I really love the instrumentation. I thought that that was fantastic. Felt like it fit the track really well. A decent start to the album in my opinion. And now to track two, Can't Let Go. Okay, so my thoughts on that song, absolutely phenomenal. I love the instrumentation on here once again. It was just so excellent. I love the vocals on here. They were great to listen to. I really love this song overall. I love the energy that it has. And I really like that juxtaposition of just saying like depressing lyrics over such a lively and upbeat instrumental. And so I really think that that was accomplished really well on this track. And yeah, this is probably going to be my favorite song on the album right now. We will see if it's my favorite overall or if something else comes around and tops it. And now to track three, After the Love Has Gone.
Okay, so my thoughts on that song, very intriguing to listen to. I appreciated how it started off slower and then it gradually built up in terms of like the instrumentation and the vocals and what was brought there. I love the saxophone on here as well. I think it's a good track overall. And now to track four, Let Your Feelings Show. Okay, so my thoughts on that song, absolutely impeccable. I really love the instrumentation, especially the saxophone, of course, and then I also really love the drums, those really stood out to me. And then of course the horns, like they always nail it with the instrumentation on the tracks, which I really, really appreciate there. And I just felt like this song was so infectious to listen to, like I just felt so happy listening to it. I just really love the way that it progressed. I love the vocals on there. And it's just a really solid song overall, so probably going to be another favorite for me on this album. And now to track five of Boogie Wonderland with the emotions. Okay, so my thoughts on the song, it was a really fun listen. I really loved how everyone's vocals worked together. I thought that the emotions did a great job on the track. I love the instrumentation on here once again. Nice song overall. About the song on Genius, it says, Look at Wonderland is a hit disco single released March 20th, 1979 from Earth, Wind & Fire's ninth album, I Am. The top 10 international chart busting single featuring their protege group, The Emotions, helped the I Am album top the R&B charts that year. The Emotions had already garnered a number one hit with the Maurice White produced Best of My Love. This second collaboration with them kicked their career into an even higher gear. Late actress slash singer Betty Murphy covered the song for the soundtrack of the 2014 film Happy Feet. According to engineer Tom Perry, Bigger Wonderland was originally written and produced by Al McKay for another group called Curtis, the brothers. Maurice White didn't think that the boys were pulling it off and the group didn't like the song. He decided to make it an Earth, Wind and Fire song and then he brought in the emotions to sing on it. Maurice took that song over. And now to track six, Star.
Okay, so my thoughts on this song. Very cool song to listen to overall. I thought that the vocals on top were pretty to listen to. The instrumentation was top tier once again. And now onto track seven, wait. Okay, so my thoughts on the song, absolutely stunning to listen to. I love the instrumentation on here once again. I thought that the vocals were very emotive, which I could appreciate, and probably going to be another favorite for me on this album, just absolutely beautiful. And now I'll do track eight, Rock That. Okay, so my thoughts on the song, I could definitely appreciate it for what it was. There was no words on the song, just instrumental, but I thought that that was interesting enough to listen to. And now onto the ninth and final track, You and I. Okay, so my thoughts on the song, I thought it was very soothing to listen to, I thought it was catchy, I like the songwriting on here, I like the vocals on here once again, I like the instrumentation as well and I felt like it was the perfect closer for this album. And now I wanted to share my favorite songs on this album with you based off my first listen. So I'm going to say Can't Let Go, I remember really liking Let Your Feelings Show, and then I also wanted to have Weight on there as well. And I think those are going to be my top three on this album. This is just how I'm feeling now. Of course, as I listen to the album, my opinions can change. This has happened to me before. And now on to my overall thoughts on this album. So I thought that this was a great album to listen to. Instrumentation is always phenomenal on here. Great production. I love the vocals on every single song. There was some great songwriting on here overall. And I just really understand how to make some great albums that don't run on for too long. Every single time I listen to their music, I just feel so happy. Like there's so much joy in their music that 
I really appreciate. And this was another great experience for me, so I'm glad that I got to another album by them. A very talented group, I will say. That's going to be it for my thoughts on this Earth, Wind & Fire album. I would love to know what you guys are thinking down below in the comments. What are your favorite songs or your memories with the album? Anything important to add to the conversation, let me know because I would absolutely love to read them. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, give it a like down below. It helps me out a lot in the YouTube algorithm. I very much appreciate it. You can subscribe right down below for more videos like this. If you hit the bell, you'll get a notification phone every single time I post so you not miss when a brand new video comes up. The first link down below in the description will be my second channel. Just posted a new video on there recently and that was me unboxing Beyonce's new album Renaissance, the alternate vinyl. And then I also unboxed the pose boxes sets one and three so definitely go check that out if you're interested. I'm also going to have my Twitter, my Instagram, my Spotify if you like to follow me. Links to stream this album if you haven't already. And lastly, links to educate you guys in important situations. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.